Hi, this is Shui with a review of uh, uh, a shoe brand that I've never heard of before, but they contacted me, sent me a sample to review. Um, I wasn't paid, but they allowed me to say whatever I want. I asked them, is it, if, is it okay if I bash it if I don't like it? And they were cool with it. So here I am reviewing the Fitville Rebound Core. Uh, it's supposedly a walking shoe. They tried to make running shoes, but all in all, their shoe is more about comfort and I think it's mainly for those who need to walk around or stand around for a prolonged period of time, uh, possibly for people who are a little bit more on the heavy side. The, the toe box area, the the, uh, the top of this uh, tongue area, it's super high and the, the width is pretty wide, so you're not going to get a lot of lockdown with this shoe. The purpose of the shoe is to have some a lot of breathing space around your foot. So if I would say you can go true to size to experience the roominess of the shoe. It's not like it runs especially long. So uh, the good thing about the the width and the space is that the outs the outs the the, the midsole and the forefoot is very wide. So you will have with this added uh, chunk of midsole area. It's definitely providing extra lateral stability there. Uh, Anti inversion lockdown locking mechanism i guess they have a dual density foam they call it the recovery core foam uh the heel and the forefoot they get the job done there's a decent heel to toe drop and the forefoot you can feel it the heel you can feel it the comfort is there and it won't let you just sink like crazy like some of those homogenous midsole foam which is just too soft on the heel and too rigid on the forefoot so in that sense they've done a phenomenal job it feels like the kind of carefully researched and planned cushioning that we get from fresh form baseball shoes or basketball shoe for New Balance and uh, the peak Tai Chi or P Soon foam materials that they use in the Flash 2 or the Underground 2 which was phenomenal so you're getting that kind of performance cushioning in this obscure brand shoe uh, cushioning is good uh, even I might even say great you could go running in them but again the fit is a bit of an issue they do not have a tight heel cup but again the purpose of the shoe is comfort uh, more than performance so uh, if you were to have a tight uh, heel counter or some kind of a clutching system that might fit some uh, some people but it might scrape into or chafe into some someone else's heel that's not a I guess that does not live up to the standards that Fitville has set for itself. All about comfort. So they do have this uh, ring concept around the, the lower part of the heel to provide that additional lockdown without um, any discomfort of it cutting into your skin. Overall, the padding is super thick and plush. There's a thick foam with sort of a stretchy neoprene material and also a fabric around it. The tongue is also very thick and breathable. The upper material, they say, is genuine leather, which is something we don't get in a lot of shoes out there. I personally am not a connoisseur of uh, leather material for uppers for shoes. I'm mostly about the traction, the cushioning, and the fit, and the foam material or the technology they use, so I cannot give a very strong comment about the superiority of the the genuine leather upper um, that's something you got, you're gonna have to try it yourself or if you're used to accustomed to using or wearing genuine leather shoes then this is something you might go for if you're sick and tired of uh, uh, fake leather faux leather uh, new bug dura bug or uh, plastic material that's set out to look like leather I guess this would be a welcome change um, it's not it does not run overly long so you can go true to size but once again it's about comfort so there's going to be a lot of space on top of uh, your rear foot and especially the width there's going to be plenty of room there uh, but it's not crazy excessive it's just enough to provide a little breathing space um, they do come in normal size and a uh, double wide but their double wide is probably three times wider than most other brands so that's something you might want to keep in mind the outsole is something that they take tremendous pride in uh, they have these uh outsole around this little c around the shoe everything else is exposed foam 
So they provide uh, lightweightness they, to help reduce the weight. So it weighs about 370 grams for a size nine. That's not too bad. And the most important fact is that it feels lighter than what the digits show. The rubber they use is a special compound. It's a little bit more tacky. It's a little bit more grippy. It's a little bit more sticky than your average uh, rubber. It's not about providing resistance or bite on dusty quartz because it's not a performer. It's about, uh, let's say you're wearing this to work. You might be walking around in cement floors that might be slippery or greasy. So this actually provide good grip and tackiness uh, on wet surfaces. So good for rainy days or rain or, or, or wet workplaces or strolls around the neighborhood when the floors are wet. Uh, the rubber is certainly something different from what I've experienced from other shoes. So they've really put a lot of effort and research into this. Interesting thing about the website is they only have only have a handful of models and they've been selling the same models for the past uh, three to four years. I think three years. Uh, and yeah, I guess in some sense you go to restaurants and uh, you have all this amazing offers and options and none of them taste great. Some of the better restaurants, they have just one or two menus and they only focus on that and the quality never goes down and they never disappoint. So in that sense, maybe that's what Fitville goes for. Interestingly, the company I believe is American, but the, the factory is in China. So it came from a, a rather shabby packaging from China, I guess straight from their factory, but it did take a, a while for them to get, get them to Korea. Uh, so delivery, I guess, it's going to test your patience a little bit. Something you might want to keep in mind. It w it's it costs about ninety bucks, so I won't say it's the cheapest shoes out there, uh, especially it's, when it's not a performer. It's a comfort and leisure shoe. Again, the mid midsole is pretty amazing. It feels comparable to Fresh Foam or the P Soon or the the Tai Chi Foam that's used in the Flash Two. So if they have a different fit different type of uh, upper for performance. It might be actually better. It might be interesting. But for now, this is a comfort shoe uh, to provide breathability uh, and a lot of space in case your foot swells up during work because you're standing around for prolonged periods. So this is definitely, I, I'm sure this has a market for a select group of individuals who are craving or have been waiting for a shoe like this. The insole, interestingly, is sort of like a Ortholite, it doesn't say so, I, so I won't say it's Ortholite, but it feels pretty much like the genuine Ortholite. The interesting part is that they have an extra thicker padding on the heel and it's slimmer on the forefoot. So even without the insole, it's got a clear heel to toe drop. And with the insole, the cushioning itself is enhanced. The comfort and the smooth transition is also up, upgraded with the insole. And even if you wear this without the insole, you can actually feel the kind of cushioning that you would get from performance shoes that feature some of their uh, premier cushioning technology. So I am pleasantly surprised. But again, once again, not a performer. It's for people with, you know, large foot or for people who like a lot of space between their shoe and their, their foot and, and their toes. Uh, the problem is they don't have a, a store in Korea or in I don't know which country you might be watching from. So if you're not able to purchase them or try them out directly. Uh, if I were to include the shipping prices from the factory in China or to the States to Korea, uh, it's probably going to cost as much as the shoe itself if I were to ship it back for a refund or a, a switch to a different size. So that's a bit of a hassle. But if you're thinking about wearing something roomy, if you don't mind having some space, certainly a shoe worth trying because this is a brand I've never heard of before that actually has been doing their homework providing sh pretty pretty surprisingly a superior cushioning with their with the, with the foam material they use for the midsole